G'day. Today we're doing a service, automatic transmission service on a Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 2013 model and he's got the 8 speed automatic transmission in it. So we start by removing this cover here and also to gain access to those front bolts on the pan there what you need to do is just take these two nuts off and lift the back of the transmission up just so you've got a little bit more room there you'll see what I mean in a moment Now it's a good idea when you before you take these plastic pans off is to let it cool right down if you're going to by chance reuse it. We're going to replace this one with a genuine OEM one. Now my advice would be if you can't get these front four bolts off to not attempt the job. And you can see we've jacked that up just to give us a little bit more room there. There we go. Let's see the solenoid too. Now you can see these have the magnets on the sides there, like that. And also if you refer back to another video I've got uh, where we open up a, an aftermarket filter kit for these. Interesting, sometimes the Dacron material, the filter element in there is not as you seem. The only way to open them up often is to to destroy it so you can't really check it anyway you'll see where all that fine stuff is accumulated there very beneficial to do a service on these the OEM pans are a bit more expensive but I think they're worth it you don't want to risk uh, damaging or doing damage to your transmission little instruction manual there and these will also come with the uh, bolts a new filler plug and the bolts and we've got the magnets you can see that they've got the little cutouts on the magnets to increase the the surface area of the magnet working and don't forget to take that cover off and also double check that the o-rings there I always like to have a look sometimes you might find a little bit of plastic or something stuck in there. You shouldn't, but it's always a good idea to check it. Just double check everything. Make sure the filler's okay. Make sure the pan rail's clean before you put that pan back on. We just smear a little bit of oil on that O-ring. It'll just go up a lot easier. And be careful not to get any dirt, road dirt in the pan there. You've got to manoeuvre it in carefully. And it's a good idea to put all the bolts in before you start tightening it up. And there is a sequence, of, I'll show you in a moment, of the tightening. You want to get that going up nice and evenly. And there on your little leaflet, you should have a tightening sequence there. For some reason it hasn't got the 8 HP, but same same thing. And you tighten them up to 10 Newton metre. Okay, pans back up. Make sure you lower this and put these nuts back on. Now I'm on the Tritec Lubricants website 
and we've got a 2013 well, it's 2015 there we go, that one. And they recommend the ATF synthetic low viscosity fluid. Or you can also use the Lifeguard 8, which is quite expensive. And there is a little note, 1899. And that's the 8-speed transmission, which is what we've got. Now the Tritec low viscosity fluid, it comes in a clear, which is similar to the Lifeguard 8, or it comes in a red. The tinting doesn't really matter. We've got the, the filler plug out here, and we're going to just top it up till it just starts trickling out of there, and we'll start it up turn it off and then top it up again then we can keep the motor running while we adjust that fluid level you don't want to uh, starve the oil uh, the pump of oil that's why we do it that way Now he's just pumping a bit more fluid in there till it comes out and then we can keep the motor running. Okay it's coming out again. And now we can go through the gears. And back in the park. And we've selected over here on the steering wheel the transmission fluid temperature. We can use that one on this particular transmission. We're on 36 degrees. So it's just coming out now. And 30 to 50 degrees is what we're aiming for. We've got 45 degrees and it's just trickling out constantly. There you go. Not much to it. Make sure you tighten these nuts up if you've removed it. Wipe off any oil that might have drained down there. We've got to put the covers back on and job's done. Anyway, hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments or suggestions in the section below. Thank you for watching.